morning everybody today i'm gonna show you how to categorize polygons in qgis i have clipped an area around venice you can see enabling the open street map background that it's venice i take out i've take out the buildings layer so you can see here we have buildings the the data i have used is the same i have extracted from the open street map data i show you in a, in another episode how to clip things in qgis it's quite simple but worth uh, show you uh, so open up the attribute table opening up the attribute table oh okay we can see we have the osm id the code the app class the name and the type in the uh, extracted layer so not uh, uh, all fields are uh, filled in so if we order by type we can see there are a few types warehouse university transportation train station tower and others Mo mm, some type of uh, geometry have roof the type re retail residence and so on. so we can use this field type to um, categorize polygons and to change their appearance based on that field. Also, I have extracted roads, so we have uh, more uh, human readable map. Let's have the OpenStreetMap background also double click on the buildings layer or right click and click properties the layer properties dialog show should show up and click on symbology we can change the symbology using sim this drop down we can have no symbols, single symbol, categorized, gradated, rule based, and so on. But um, for now, we can just use single uh, single symbol is just the one we are using. You can change color if you pick another and click apply. Everything gets purple, and this is the same we so in the last episode so now i click categorized okay perfect then we can choose a value and a field um, where um, upon we can uh, categorize the whole uh, the whole layer so we pick type and we can now click classify oh that's great for every symbol for every value in the type column we have now a um, a symbol that we can customize as you can see we have uh, all other values entry clicking this we can choose the symbol to use whenever there is no a classification so the, when we have an null value you can see um, this symbol used okay this is actually a lot but it's almost free we just click classify and everything works if you click on the symbol you can change things so you can the color you can uh, add a new new symbol layer so it's quite uh, 
it's quite customizable. This is a way to um, have your polygon classified. If we click OK, we can see now the map of Venice. I switch off the roads for a moment. Is now uh, colored. Let's switch off. Let's switch off, oh, off also the base layer. We can see that everything is colored based on that field. If I click something, I can see I have picked a church, which is actually green. If I pick the um, Chan Wan, as you can see it's apartments. A retail is actually pinkish. And so you can also change this, uh, this, this things. And this is a, a quite easy uh, way to categorize things. If you have a, a lot of values, like in this case, you can uh, have a, a not a great result. But in the case you have a few types. It's really useful and fast to obtain. Another way is I double click the, the building. Let's switch back to a single symbol. Let's pick the topo. It's now topo building. It's now, uh, now I would say everything is to, has turned uh, gray. So instead of picking categorized, we can pick rule based. Rule based is uh, a way you can tell QGIS to draw things uh, using rules. This is quite uh, useful and it's, in my opinion, the most powerful symbology things. Thing, feature in QGIS. So add another rule. We can have a filter here. So we can pick, for instance, a label for the church. The filter is can use the expression builder, or we can just use the pipe church. Let's see. If it works, okay, no, type function is not known, not like that. Uh, okay, let's see, variables, no. Uh, okay, uh, it's not known, feature, let's pick a feature. Okay, everything is not working, what happened here? Oh. Um, feature. Uh, where is the attribute? Okay, perfect. Feature attribute type. Okay. Church. Let's see if it works. Test. Uh, name expecting and expecting equals. I don't know what's happening here. Okay, maybe now it works. Oh, it was just... Okay, now it's working. Sorry, but I didn't remember. Okay, let's pick uh, green, bright green. Okay, apply. And we can see all the churches in Venice has been highlighted. We can also add another filter. So attributes so type um Retail. 
4. Attribute. Type. Residential. Let's make. Uh, oh, just one, not two. Um, let's make a rule that targets both retail and residential. Let's click OK. Let's test very feature. Computer feature. Um, so what? Mm, 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 mm. Let's drop this for the moment. Take a look. Uh, uh -huh. Residential is correct. And retail should be correct too. Retail. Hi. Uh, no, no, no. Maybe we have to add a few brackets. Little feature that's not correct. How retain residential attribute? Uh -huh. Why? Mm. This is the real time, man. You don't. Uh, anything but maybe it's working okay want well, the single quotes and not the double quotes let's call it re retail or residential perfect okay let's click apply and we can see now we have something highlighted in purple so this is a nice way to um, fix to group, not fix to group more than a single option category. So you can add more of this if you have a few, just use categorize. If you have a lot, you can use rule based. Also, you can show um, how uh, many attributes are different here, and you can do it uh, using the uh, I don't remember the list unique values in under the analysis tools. If you click, pick the buildings, and you uh, target field. Okay, target, click target field and take type and then run. And you can see here you have 54 unique values. We can add 53 as you, <laughs> you have now also. And you can use uh, these unique values to populate the, the, the rules. Unique values also are have been added so you have you can have it uh, as a list uh, in the in the attribute table just double double click on the um, the icon on the toolbar or right click and open attribute table well for today is everything i hope uh, you understood how to categorize things in qgis uh, this works for every kind of feature. Uh, I show you how to style roads in another episode. So thank you. Uh, remember to subscribe and like and click the like button. And uh, thank you for listening.